Welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites and uh, hopefully add now? some awesome games to your backlog. If you enjoy those types of games, you're in the right place. Uh, what are you waiting for? Join us. Join the community. This is uh, these are the types of games we play and enjoy. Uh, we are back with Dandy Ace and uh, you know what? I have been having a pretty good run here. I, I wasn't, uh, you know, documenting the whole thing, but things started going well, and I thought, you know, probably going to make it to uh, a Lele fight. Folks may want to check this out. And so, uh, yeah, here we are. I thought I'd put together a, a quick old movie uh, for your viewing pleasure. How about that? Um so I hope your weekend is off to a good start. Uh, I actually tore into my uh, Guatemalan roast and uh, enjoying that quite a bit right now. Nice, dark, smooth, pretty bold cup. Um, we like that smoky dirt, you know? Anyway, uh, the temperature seems to be changing quite nicely by me and uh you know it's a happy time uh I, I just i'm built for hoodie weather you know um I, I just really enjoy a good hoodie and uh yeah so i've been wearing those i only own 17 of them and have one on every floor of the house this this is the way it turns out So happy to happy to have the change in weather, a little bit cooler. Finally have a, a fall happening. Which I you know, I wasn't sure if we were gonna get there or not. Hey, this cupcake is not for you. Okay. So if you saw my last encounter with uh Mr. Lele, the man in green, um kind of decided that the dancing wand would be the way to go so I you know I grabbed that that spell early on uh, kind of thinking hey you know if it, if it goes this way in terms of the run I'll already have it it'll be nice and powered up and uh, here we are so I've been running with that so far uh, so far so good And I also uh, have this two vampire bat spell. He kind of just flies out and uh, bites people and sometimes exploding clocks. You just never know what the dandy's going to throw at us. All right. You know, I tried this fear for a little bit too. Um, wasn't working for me as much. You weren't expecting that, were you? I actually, uh, I have the fear, come to think of it. I've got it put on the uh, the Maelstrom hex that I just threw out there, that that red field. And so it's, it's cool because they kind of like, they back away. They, they have this oh shit moment. Um, and it, it just gives you a moment to breathe for a second. Looks like those guys have a hex too. All right, excellent. Twin daggers. Ooh. It is tempting. Uh, boy, oh boy. Let's see what the difference in damage is because these kind of do the same thing. Um, reactivation. Do, do, do. Uh, God, it's a ton more damage. All right, we're going to go that route. Bant, you were, you were good while you lasted. Um... If, if I find the bat again and it's an upgraded version of it, speak of the damn devil. Um, now let's see what this looks like now. Uh, ba -ba, the 2600. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, well, you heard me say it. Yeah, see that fear kind of works well over there. So you can just apply your your debuffs and let them do the work while they scurry off. 
And I think the fear also applies some damage because, you know, it's a beautiful thing. These bows are much stronger than the ones okay. you've been fighting so far. I'm telling you. We're going to put that there just in case. Now, I also like how far it uh, flies out. I don't know that the blades uh, go that far. And they get him again on the on the return. You know, the bat flies out, and then once it comes back, boom, smash, smack him again. All right. So what do we got? We got a shield out here or something? A totem? Good deal. Yeah, I think Lele is up next. Uh, you know, we're going to want to take a look at this. So, oh, the escape artist is, how is that better? Adds toxic, toxic. Oh, thir oh, right, right, right. Okay, let's just see what this looks like. Cause... Yeah, and then they spread it around, too, if I'm remembering right. Um then we'd lose our cards, and I don't really want to lose the rain of cards, because that's that's a nice one, too. Um, I think we're going to have to lose the uh, escape artist for a level 10 product instead. Alright, where are we going here? Down this way. Ow! Surround him! Don't miss this opportunity! Well, that was nice. Yeah, so this approach is working really well. Um, we'll sell that. We got up here. Yeah, that dancing wand is just really good. I mean, these guys always group up, you know? So, uh, there's a gigantic advantage to that. What's this? It's an interesting look. Vanish, okay. Some kind of uh, invisibility approach. Might be kind of nice. Speaking of uh, invisibility, I never give too much of a look to that when I come across that uh, that relic in Noida. I mean, I understand its value, what the heck is that? A cupcake. but uh, I don't know. Not one I uh, use a whole lot. Okay, this little cupcake. Oh, two cupcakes. Well, that was that was very kind. Aren't you carrying too much we have stuff here a nice card. Okay, shocking arrival. We're gonna sell that. And what do we have here? I hear you. So now that's nice, putting that right over there. Just back the hell off. Go ahead and group up too, that's wonderful. Alright. Uh, well, we're going to sell that. You know, I'll say too, uh, we've got another new video uh, on the channel of Meisuko and myself playing some Days of Purgatory. This is a uh, roguelike FPS, if you're into those. Um, 
featuring tons and tons of zombies. So if you've got a uh, craving for some zombie destroying action, uh, check that out. You might enjoy it. I'll say too, the, uh, the devs at Gory Gaming are awesome. And uh, they seem very dedicated to making the game as good as it can be. It's it's in early access right now, and uh, yeah, they're they're very open to constructive feedback. Seem like a great group, um, and I'm going to be chatting with them uh, at some point about their thoughts on uh, roguelikes for a new series called the uh, the Joy of Roguelikes. So look for that too in the the coming future. You know, I don't know where to put these. Um, man, uh, you know what? I guess let's just pick, didn't we get something new? Here, vanish, what is this? Ace becomes invisible. All right, let's uh, let's give that a, a go eventually. Uh, well, we're full up on T, five of a kind, bubble trouble, no, I don't, I don't really want either of these either. Um, so, I guess we'll just, that seems wasteful though. You know, we'll grab one of the, oh, we can sell it, okay. There we go. All right, here it is. Yeah. So you're finally back to the throne room, Dandy Ace. In case you missed the first encounter, it was about time. I'll Hi, let Lele. this play What's out. If you've already seen it, Feel free to skip ahead about 10 seconds. People hurting before, but now they feel a lot better. That's great news. Man, sore feet are the worst. They yeah, are. I have these awful blisters, a real pain. Uh, wait a minute. Do not try to deceive me into pretending we're allies. I am your arch rival, Dandy Ace. We have another duel ahead of us. But do we have to? I mean, think about it. Yes, we do. It's the only way to break the curse of the mirror. I can teach you some tricks, coach you into refining your moves, your lines, your ahem, dressing style. He's so nice. No! I am the greatest magician of all time. If anyone should be teaching tricks, it should be me. You, Dandy Ace, are a second best at most. Oof. Just a little update on your routine. Come on, it couldn't be bad. Still responding with kindness. Silence! I'm much stronger this time. Get ready for a lesson in magic. They should absolutely do an anime or a comic. Uh, they're they're really cool characters. Oof. All right. All right. Speaking of oof, we better stay back and get the old baddie bat flying out there. Ah, uh, this is where... Alright, well, we're gonna see, I suppose. Okay, yep, it's working. This is where the dancing wand is gonna come into play and be valuable. Alright, pal, I'm not stepping into your crap willingly. So today I learned I can call the bat back whenever I want. There you go. Oh. Ooh. Come on, Juan. Dance a little bit. Oh, I think we're going to have to use some health. Okay. We'll use that in the nick of time. Wow. It's 
blast those guys with the wand. Come on. There it is. Uh-oh. Some health. All right. This is going to be close. Hey, I think we're going to I think we're going to nail him. Let's commit. Yes. See you lay later. Blueprint black hole. Nice. Oh, poor Lele. Leave the cursed mirror. Okay. Let's see, is there anything else in here? I think we did it, goats. I think we did it. There it is. Look at that. There it is. Another one. Uh, this game was tremendous. If you like action roguelite games that offer a nice level of meta progression along the way, like your Hades of the worlds, um, you need to check this out. It's got a good feel to it. Uh, the speed is a bit different from Hades. It's going to take you a minute to, uh, you know, get used to it if you're coming right off of Hades, especially with those guys that uh, light up the floor. The, the Beauty and the Beast, uh, Lumiere candlestick looking guys, those are the ones. That's going to take you a minute to get used to. But um, if you're looking for a solid action roguelite, this is it. It's on Game Pass. My guess is uh, if you don't have Game Pass, you can probably find this game for $20. Worth it, in my opinion. Uh, let's just blaze on through these credits and see if anything else opens up here. I think it's going to open up hard mode. Um, boy, I, I, I really think uh, that they should do a comic or an anime or something. Yeah, I think it's just going to drop us back to... Uh, the main menu here or another run which we are not going to do oh and it's on hard as well there it is yeah probably won't be attempting that anytime soon because you know i've got uh 29 other games to play um which is just a wonderful problem to have uh i have been looking forward to diving into dicey dungeons so I will probably uh, unwrap that. What I'm told is is a gift of a game uh, very, very soon here. Um, then there's a number of other games swirling around. We still have Tower of Guns out there. Uh, Gunfire Reborn, I think they did their final update. Um, speaking of updates, Rogue Legacy 2 now, I believe, is uh, in a state where you can finish the entire game. Um, so, lots to play, uh, lots to be happy about. Um, thanks so much for the support. We are not getting bored. We're just having our final points of discussion here. Thank you for the support, and uh, hope to see you next time. You know, next week we'll get back to uh, our, our beloved Coffee and Noida series. Um, you know, be thinking about... The next game we'd, we'd like to see. I'm kind of kicking around the idea of uh, Spelunky 2 and diving into that. I had some fun with Spelunky. I don't know if I ever finished it or not, but um, I wouldn't mind peeking into Spelunky 2 and, and seeing what that offers as well. All right. Well, I'm talking out of my head here. Have a great one. We'll see you next time. Take care.